Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an illustration that clearly shows that the cos function and the sin function are orthogonal to each other. That is, the dot product is zero. So, specifically, we are talking about discrete sin function and cos function. Let us define the functions. That is, first, uh, let us define the signals. That is, x1 of n is equal to cos function of 2 pi small n by capital N, where the value of small n takes uh, varies from uh, 0 to n minus 1. That is, n is an integer uh, starting at 0 and ending at n minus 1. Similarly, the signal x2 of n is given by sine of 2 pi over n into small n. So, the values of small n take, uh, the values of small n are from 0 to n minus 1. And of course, n is the length of the signal. So, we want to show that these two signals are orthogonal. That is, the correlation at lag 0 is equal to 0. That is, R12 of 0, which is basically the sum of the n, summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1, uh, x1 of n and x2 of n. So, we want to show that this product is equal to 0. So, R12 of 0 is defined as the summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 and then we have cos of 2 pi small n over uppercase n and then sine of 2 pi small n over capital N. Now, since we have sine 2 theta is equal to 2 times sine theta cos theta, uh, basically using the tr trigonometric identity, we can rewrite this one as 1 by 2 summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 sine of 4 pi by n small n. So, that will be the transformation from a product of cos theta and sin theta to sin 2 thetas. And obviously, this sum uh, can be shown to be 0 as follows. Uh, now, the sum can be sh shown to be 0 as follows. That is, this is equal to 1 by 4 j. That is, 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 j. Summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1. Exponential of j 4 pi by n into n minus summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 exponential of minus j 4 pi or n into small n. That is, we use the Euler's formula uh, e power j theta minus e power minus j theta is equal to 2 j sin theta. Now, uh, we can easily, uh, now this summation is basically a geometric series of finite duration. So, uh, this, uh, this summation becomes 1 minus e power j 4 pi by capital N into capital N. That is, uh, this is basically summation of alpha power N for, for N equal to 0 to N minus 1, which is given by 1 minus alpha power N by 1 minus alpha. That means, this summation becomes 1 minus e power J 4 pi by capital N into small n, by capital N into capital N, divided by 1 minus e power minus J 4 pi by N. Similarly, the second sum also becomes 1 minus minus j 4 pi by capital N into capital N and then 1 minus e power sorry this one should be plus and this is minus e power e power minus j 4 pi divided by capital N. So, clearly both the numerators are zeros because e power j 4 pi and then n's cancel each other. So, e power j 4 pi is basically e 1. So, uh, same thing with the same case with the second fraction. So, we have zeros that is the product R12 of 0 is clearly equal to 0. So, another simple way to verify this idea is we can use MATLAB that is first we design uh, two signals x1 uh, that is x1 is cos of 2 pi n by capital N and x2 is sin of 2 pi n by capital N. So, and n is say for example 100 now small n is from 0 to n minus 1 now we can easily uh, compute the values x1 and x2 uh, we can look at the plot. In this plot, we can clearly see that half the area of the signal is above the x-axis and half the area is below the x-axis. So, the sum should be equal to clearly 0. So, to summarize, to summarize, we, in this video, we have, lo uh, we have looked at the fact that the dot product of a cos function and a sine function uh, with same frequency, that is uh, R12 of 0, which is basically the summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 cos of 2 pi n by capital N into sine of 2 pi n by capital N, that is uh, the product of these two functions uh, when they have same frequency uh, and then the sum of these products will be equal to 0 because 
this summation becomes sin uh, uh, becomes sine of 4 pi by n into small n that is uh, we are using the sine two theta formula and then clearly this summation is equal to zero because half the area lies above the axis and half the area lies below the axis or uh, we can use the Euler's formula to verify that it is indeed equal to zero that is the sum is indeed equal to zero and we also verified the result using MATLAB that is we just uh, construct the two signals x1 and x2 as cos and sin functions and we prepare th and then we define the vector n which is from 0 to n minus 1 so we can sim simply compute the x1 and x2 and their product and plot the product that is uh, uh, product uh, x1 into x2 as a function of n and we can cl clearly see that the sum uh, is basically sum of the signal that is sum of this product x1 into x2 is clearly equal to 0 thanks for watching